Hello friends and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now we are going to take our airplane wings into a big circle out in front of us like this. Now let's take the circle up over our heads and stretch to one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top, and we will bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, there are three things that we need to do. First, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, let's put on our thinking hats. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we are ready to start the day. Let me get my pointing stick. And first, we are going to go over the date. Look at this. When I bring my pointing stick up to the month, I see that there is a brand new month that has started today. The new month is called June. I am going to move the chip over to the number one because today is June 1st, 2021. But you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Friends, let's get our counting fingers ready and let's count to the number one together. Let's do that one more time. One. Today is the first day of June. And now let's sing the seven days of the week song. For this song, we need to hold up seven fingers. Will you show me how to do that? Let's start with one hand. One hand has five fingers. We need two more fingers like this to make seven for each one of the seven days of the week. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. It goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart. I'm being, going to give you the sound that the day makes. And if you know what the day is, you can say it out loud. This says that yesterday was M. Monday. Yesterday was Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is T. Tuesday. And tomorrow will be what? Wednesday. But let's sing Today is Tuesday together. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart right up here where we have the season. Do you know what the season is right now? Spring! That's right, friends. It's springtime where I live. But soon, in a few weeks, it will be a new season. We will say goodbye to the springtime and we will say hello to the summertime. The summertime starts in June where I live. Now, let's go down to the bottom of the chart, right down here where we have the weather song. Let's sing together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? 
Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Well, today, if you take a look at my picture down here, the sun is not shining, but the rain is not falling either. Well, not yet. It may rain later today. But for now, when I look outside of my window, I see clouds. My temperature chart is on orange because it's warm. Warm and cloudy where I live today. What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now it's time to move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we learned a new letter. Do you remember what sound this letter makes? Let's make that sound together. Z, z. And do you know what letter this is? Z, that's right. This is a lowercase z. Z says z, z. And now it's time to guess what is inside of the letter box today. It's something that starts with the letter z, z. Here's your first clue. This is a type of an animal. This animal has four legs. It looks similar to a horse, except that it has black and white stripes on its body. Do you know what animal it is? Let's take a look. A zebra. This is a zebra. So zebras have one, two, three, four legs. They look similar to a horse, except they have black and white stripes down their body. And zebras live in Africa. Zebra starts with the letter Z. Z. This is how you write a lowercase Z. Z. One more time. Yesterday we also talked about a new number. We started back at the beginning with this number. What number is this? One. This is the number one. And now let's count to the number one using the large bead frame. Today we are going to count one unit. So I'm going to go up to the green beads and I'm going to move one unit from the left over to the right. One. One unit. I have something new to count today inside of the number box. Let's take a look and see what I have. I have one flower. What color is this flower? Yellow. That's right. This yellow flower is called a buttercup. I have one yellow buttercup. And now let's go over the sign of the week. Yesterday, I showed you how to say eat in sign language. Will you show me how? Let's do that together. Eat. Let's take a look at this picture from yesterday and go over the five food groups that we talked about briefly. So yesterday, we started off with grains. This is the first food group that we talked about yesterday. We talked about whole grains and refined grains. Today, we are going to move over to this side and we are going to talk about fruits and vegetables. So even though fruits and vegetables have their own food groups, Today we are going to combine them into one discussion. Fruits and vegetables are a very important part of our diet because they contain nutrients and vitamins that are needed to keep our bodies healthy and strong. But the main difference between a fruit and a vegetable is that fruits contain seeds that come from the flower of a plant. So, with that in mind, let's play a little game. I will hold up a food 
and you tell me if it's a fruit or a vegetable. Let's start with this type of food. This is a tomato. Now, do you think that a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable? Tomatoes are vegetables because they have seeds inside of them. Let's move on to the next kind of food. Right here, I have a carrot. Do you think that a carrot is a fruit or a vegetable? Carrots are vegetables. And next, I have a red pepper. What do you think? Fruit or vegetable? Fruit. Peppers are fruit because they also have seeds inside of them. And the last food in this game is a piece of broccoli. Do you think broccoli is a fruit or a vegetable? Broccoli is a vegetable. So after all of that talk about food, I'm feeling pretty hungry. Let's make a snack for today's work. For today's work, you will need some fruits and vegetables. Make sure that you have at least one green ingredient for your smoothie recipe. You're going to need some water, ice, and a blender to make the smoothie. So I chose a banana and some blueberries as my fruit that will go inside of my smoothie today. So I'm going to start off by peeling the banana. This top right here is where I'm going to break off like this and just remove the outer peel and break off some pieces and put it inside of my cup of water. When I make smoothies in the morning, I use a Nutribullet and those are great because this is the container that will hold all the ingredients and blend it all together, but I also can just drink directly from this container once the smoothie is blended. So I have my banana in there. I'm going to save this peel and add to my compost later. I also have some blueberries. Usually I use frozen blueberries, but today I have some fresh blueberries. And then for my green ingredient, I have some fresh spinach that I actually just picked from the garden. And I'm going to pop that in. If you have other types of fruit that need a little more preparation, like strawberries, make sure to use a child-friendly knife in order to remove the green stems at the top. And sometimes I will add some additional frozen fruits like mangoes, and that way I don't need to use any ice. But today, since I don't have any frozen ingredients, I'm just going to add a few ice cubes into the smoothie, and then I will pop the lid on and blend it all together. But let me show you what the smoothie looks like once everything is blended. This is my green smoothie right here. It has blended banana and blueberries and some spinach. And all I need is a straw. And now I can enjoy it. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. What color do you think your smoothie will be? once you add all of the fruits and vegetables. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, it's time to sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.